This overview covers some of the improvements in our listing manager, which is accessed via the navigation pane. On the left, you have options to filter your listings, including listings for your company. To use the filter, enter your criteria and click the Apply button. We've added an Actions button to give you more choices on releasing your listings to specific people. Start by selecting Active Listings, then click the Actions button and choose your format. You can arrange the order of the properties if you've chosen multiple listings. We've also designed templates that you can use that will auto-populate. You can generate different reports, including a Tor map that you can then print or email. When emailing, this will access your CRM contacts so you can just add who you wish to send, a subject line, a message, and hit send. Each listing has a number of functions you can access at the bottom. You can mark your listing as current, see who has viewed your listing, and push your listings to social media. We've made adding and editing listings much easier. Click a listing to edit it, or click New to create a new listing. For details on all of the new features, see the videos on For Sale and For Lease as we've made some major improvements on both. In the listing detail, we made the screen much simpler to navigate. We've moved the Save button to the top of the listing screen, making it always visible. We've also added the ability to copy or clone a listing, and you can decide what type of listing to create as well as what information is included. We've added a navigation menu to make it easy to jump to specific sections. You can now change the listing agent and add additional agents with a simple click. You can also make a listing active but not searchable, which allows you to email or send a listing to a client without making it searchable to the general public.